In this video, we're going to use our classmates' chromosomes to act out mitosis. Mitosis is a type of cell division where two identical cells are formed with the same number of chromosomes as was in the original cell. This happens in both plant and animals for growth. We're going to use boys in blue and girls in red to represent the gametes in the chromosome pairs. So, at the start, interface, these students are representing chromatin, which are long, thin, thread-like structures knotted on top of each other. The two boys in grey on the outside of the nucleus are called centrioles. First step in mitosis is prophase. Chromosomes appear more evident. They are no longer on top of each other. They are shorter and fatter. And more obvious, the centrioles move and separate to the poles of the cell. Metaphase. Here the nuclear membrane disappears, represented by a white cord and circle. Each chromosome duplicates an exact copy of themselves. The pairs of chromosomes, now called chromatid sisters, line up in the middle of the cell. We call this the equator of the cell. The centrioles attach spindle fibres to the pairs of chromatid sisters. The spindle fibres are represented by the blue cords. Anaphase. The centrioles spin and shorten the fibres, hence pulling the sisters apart. Now, telophase. Two new nuclear membranes form around the chromosomes, as represented by the white cards. The centrioles replicate themselves, so there are two centrioles once more in each cell. As represented by the gate, a cell wall grows back. This process is called cytokinesis. This only happens in plant cells, as animals do not have cell walls. Finally, a resulting conclusion. Now we have two identical cells. They have the same number of chromosomes as the original cell. Mitosis has occurred.